Sean with NTI Online. And today's topic is no domestic hot water or not responding to a domestic hot water call. We've got a TRX 150 here and there's a couple of things to check when you're called out for no domestic hot water. When you turn on a fixture or two, on the control panel you want to look for in the lower left an icon of a faucet and there should be a square around it if the appliance is seeing the call. If it's not, here's what you want to check. First thing is a magnetic reed switch. It's located right in here alongside of the pump in the return group. You remove the switch by taking a hold of it, giving it a pull, and it comes right out. The wire harness usually stays attached. Take a magnet, in this case I've got a magnetic screwdriver, and you touch it to the glass bulb that's inside. If you flip it up and you have a square around your domestic hot water icon, you know that the switch is working. If you don't, it could be the switch, the harness, or the control board inside here. Something in, in that circuit. If it works great, if it sees it, then it's not this. Another thing that we can check, I'll just put this back in here, it just slides in this way. You'll see how it's keyed, notches in, put it in until it clicks. <clears throat> the other item is your flow cap or your flow sensor, also located in the return group. There's a filter on the bottom of it that could have an obstruction. So if the switch works and you see it, but you're still not getting something, it could be because the magnet inside the flow cap isn't traveling under water pressure to activate this switch. So right now we're going to look at how to remove the flow sensor and how to check it just to make sure it's moving and there's no debris. Okay, so before you remove the flow sensor or flow cap, you'll want to isolate your domestic side, bleed down the domestic side, turn off your city water, crack open a couple of faucets, uh, get all the water out of that. And once that's done, you take and remove the C-clip. You can use pliers if you want to. Set that aside. And then remove this cap here. So you'll see that there's a couple of a T-shaped uh, molding on it. It fits very flush to the top of this return group body. I put a small screwdriver underneath each side of the T and kind of pop it out. Once I've got it out, you can just give it a quick inspection. So what we're looking for in this is any debris or buildup or stuff in the filter, right? Whether or not this magnetic switch, this bullet we call it, if it's moving or not, because it needs to move freely up and down in order to activate the reed switch. So the magnet travels up under water pressure, activates the reed switch, and that how, that's how it sees the call. So we inspect this, make sure it's not broken, cracked, built up with scale, what have you. And if it's okay, then we reinsert and you'll notice that there's a, a tab in the front. You probably saw that when I pulled it out. That faces forward, line it up, put good pressure down on that so it mates up flush again, reinsert your clip. And that's the sound we want, a good sharp click so that we know that this is seated. Okay, so now that we've verified that the switch is working, the flow cap is clean and the magnet works and moves. So we've removed these items as a possible point of failure. You'd repressurize your domestic system, turn on your faucet, power the boiler back up, and then if you're still not seeing anything here on, around the icon for the domestic hot water in the lower left corner, then you could be looking at a plumbing problem somewhere else in the house. It could be that you don't have enough flow, which 
we need a half a gallon of flow to trigger these mechanisms. So grab yourself a five gallon bucket, run some domestic into it and time it and see what your flow rate actually is. On the TRX model, uh, 110 combi and 150 combis in particular, you can't measure the flow. You can't go into a menu and see what the flow is. You kind of have to do it manually. Other than that, you could be into a, a plumbing problem in the home. Maybe there's a Y strainer on the domestic side coming in that's got debris in it. It's hard to tell. If you need more support on this though, give us a call at 1-800-688-2575. Any one of the team will be able to help you.